I bought the brand new PS5 Slim from eBay, and in this video, we're gonna unbox it, test it out, tear it down, and see if it's any good. So I did buy this console from eBay because I found an authorized seller that was selling the console a couple days ahead of when it came out, so decided to take a chance on it, kind of sketch, I don't know. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And no, yeah, that's the, that's the Slim. So a couple things about the box right off the bat. Uh, the slim box here on the left is obviously a good bit smaller than the fat box here on the right. The one downside is the fat box did have a handle on top for carrying it around. The slim box does not. Not a big deal, just something to note. But other than that, the box is pretty similar to the original PS5 box. You just have, you know, your giant line through the <laughs> through the console here, and supposedly the console is a good bit smaller. Also comes with Spider-Man 2, which is nice because that's like a $70 game. Um, and then flipping to the side, it'll tell us exactly what we come with here. So you have the console, uh, the disk drive, which is can be detached. So we're gonna play around with that as well. Um, we also got, you know, the horizontal stand feet, all the other standard stuff. But guys, let's go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside. So as per usual, Sony uses a cheap slip cover over the actual box. Now let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside of here. All right, first up we have our power cord and, oh, are these our horizontal stands? Dude, <laughs> oh my gosh, those are so cheap. Wow, okay, well, <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Here on the left side, we should have our controller, cool. And then of course we have our manual, quick start guide, whatever stuff here. And then we got our PS5 Slim, which right off the bat, yeah, that is a good bit smaller, but it does not feel lighter at all. Interesting. All right, guys, so here's the console pulled out of the plastic wrap, and man, right off the bat, that dang glossy from Sony, this thing's gonna get scratched up immediately. I already see a few small micro scratches. Uh, I don't know why they couldn't just make the whole thing matte. So basically, let me just explain. We have a matte plate right here. We have a glossy plate right there. And flipping it over to the bottom, we have another glossy plate and then a matte plate. And of course, this is your uh, disc drive right here. So this actually detaches somehow and you can basically make this a slim console. You can also buy the slim console, buy a separate disc drive, put it together and make yourself a disc console, but that cost like 50 bucks more than just buying the disc console. It's a very confusing, um, Sony's made it very confusing. But uh, yeah, just taking a look at this right off the bat, it looks very similar to a PS5. Uh, and we got, you know, your power button down here. We've got our USB, two USB-C ports actually, instead of a USB-A and USB-C. And then flipping to the back, I guess the other thing I noticed here is they have this blue tape. I'm not sure what that's there for to hold the plates in place, I don't know. We also have an HDMI cable, of course, LAN port, two USB ports, and a power port. And I do like these little, they have a nice touch here of the uh, symbols kind of just engraved into the console. Um, also here in the bottom, which is just, uh, you know, a nice touch. Now flipping to the top, this is, dude, this is, that's bad. So <laughs> if you guys remember on the, the fat PS5, which I'll pull out for comparison here in a second, but it had like little grates all around the edges here. This one does not have that. It's just like an open gap. Like just for comparison, here on the right hand side, we have our slim. Here on the left hand side, we have our fat. And you can see right off the bat from a top hand view, uh, it actually is a good bit smaller, but hopefully you can see what I'm saying. Like the, the PS5 Fat has these nice little grates all around the edges there. This one has basically nothing, just some like supports inside. So it's very ugly if you look at it, look at it that way. Not a huge fan of that. Now let's go ahead and compare them side by side and take a look uh, dimensionally what the differences are. So again, here on the left is the Fat, here on the right is the Slim. It's really not that much smaller in terms of size difference. So you put them on top of each other, you can see that, yeah, just not that much smaller. So it is slimmer but it's like, it, it takes up the same amount of space, guys. I mean, it's like the same shape. You're not like taking up less space in your in your cabinet or your shelf or whatever, which is the frustrating part. Like I thought they would have made it like a, an actually slim device that can just sit better in your entertainment system, like a Series X, Series S type of deal. But no, they had to go with the same, same design, just make it slightly smaller. Now to be fair, it definitely is lighter and easier to carry around, which is nice. Now let me go ahead and take off this blue tape and just see what else we got going on here on the outside. All right, so let's try to put on this horizontal stand. If you guys, just in case you don't know, uh, like on the, the fat PS5, it came with a stand that could be horizontal or vertical. This one actually only comes with horizontal, a horizontal stand, so you have to buy a separate vertical stand for $30, which is just like, come on, man, that's so janky. But I think the horizontal stand just clicks into place here. Uh, let's try this out. It sits down like so, which is honestly, that's nicer than the other horizontal stand that originally came with the fat PS5, but still super janky. Feels very cheap just to have these little plastic pieces in the bottom. Oh man, what in the world? Now putting that PS5 to the side for a second, I did actually buy another one. The other model, it's, it, I don't know if it's actually a different model, but it comes with a different game. So I'm gonna open this one up and, as well and see if there's any differences. So yeah, the MW3 one is here on the left side. It came with the exact same stuff, just a Modern Warfare 3 code instead of Spider-Man. Anyways, let's go ahead and plug one of these in, see if it works and just see how it's different. All right, we're all plugged up. Let's go ahead and see what it does. So three, two, one. And we do have, we still have some lights. We got a light here on the bottom and that's, about all I see, there's no lights over on this side, and that appears to be about it. Now, we do have an update. I'm gonna go ahead and do this later so we can see 
what update it starts out on, and then we'll update later. Oh, so as soon as I boot up, it says, can't use your disk drive. Please restart to use it. Man, so even, mm. so I remember hearing about this or reading about this a few weeks ago. You can't use a disk drive unless you connect to the internet, which is like, seems fine now. Everybody connects to the internet, it's whatever. But you know, definitely gonna be an issue 20 years down the line when you're trying to sell your, your PS5 and the PlayStation network is not up anymore and you don't have a way to like swap out a disk drive and, and activate it. Okay, here it is. So I restarted and it says, your disk drive is connected to your PS5. To use your disk drive, register it to your PS5. All right, let's see what that means. Okay, so yeah, it says you can't use your disk drive unless you up update to the latest system software. So here it is, it is now updating the disk drive. I actually wonder, <laughs> I don't wanna try it. I, I mean, I do wanna try it, but I don't wanna try it. But I wonder what would happen if you're, while you're updating, you just remove the disk drive. Like, would it, would it brick your disk drive? I don't know. I'm, I might try it. Should I? I don't know. Your disk drive is connected to your PS5. Use your disk drive, register it to you. Dude, how many things do I have to do to use my dang disk drive? Come on. Now, one other thing I forgot to mention is we actually do have more storage space in this device. We have one terabyte instead of like 825 gigs or whatever was on the PS5 FAT, so that's nice. Now, next up, we of course got to test out the disk drive, make sure that works. Here I have my Spider-Man PS5 game that Best Buy sent me back that was... Uh, I'll put the video on the screen if you want to check that out, but that was an interesting situation. Let's just make sure this... Uh, Disk drive actually works though. So Spider-Man finished installing and I have a couple notes about the disk drive. So first of all, uh, the disk drive is still very loud when it's installing a game, but other than that, I think it's actually an improvement because when you eject a disk or put a disk in, it feels very smooth, very quiet. You can see it coming out right now. And by the way, there is a new disk drive eject button right here instead of being up here, which is nice. And uh, yeah, we put it back in and it just feels a lot smoother than the fat PS5. Now let's go ahead and boot this game up and just see uh, how loud this console gets while it's running a, running a game. So I'm just swinging around in Spider-Man. I also did a, uh, did a fight and the, the PS5 is very quiet. Like my PS5 at home when I'm playing Spider-Man gets pretty loud uh, sometimes, but this one is very quiet, pushing out a lot of heat, which is good. Uh, so yeah, so far so good. But let's go ahead and turn this console off now, tear it down and see what's happening on the inside. All right, so I have no idea how to take these plates off. I have not watched any videos, but I would assume we do something similar to the fat PS5. Oh gosh, okay, so <laughs> there's just some clips on here that come out very, very violently. And uh, yeah, so there's the first plate. It just looks like a plate chopped in half, which is interesting. All right, and there's our fan. Okay, so the fan is definitely a lot smaller. We have this little webbed grill that almost looks like it's supposed to be from Spider-Man. That's kind of funny. And let's go ahead and take this one off as well, I guess. All right, got that one off. And the other thing I noticed, it actually saw this in the manual, is each one has a different uh, symbol there. So we got our X, we have our square on this one. That cover comes off as well. And we got the triangle and you can also see the fan on this side. So we got four screws. We don't have to pull off that weird trim piece that's on the fat PS, uh, PS5. And there's our M.2 SSD slot. So let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so M.2 is basically the same deal as the other one. You take this screw and this panel off and you can put, of course, your M.2 SSD in there. Now, next up, let's go ahead and try to take the disk drive off and see how that comes apart. That's the part I'm most curious about, and it looks like, oh, that's just the cover. Okay, so we just have a cover there, and then the actual disk drive right here, I see like five or six screws, I think, that you removed. Uh, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. So yeah, never mind. There's no screws here that you need to take out. You basically just uh, pull it up in the back. It'll come up loose from this piece right here, and there's two clips that come out of, come out of place. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty neat. So this is this is nice for repairability because if you want a new disk drive and your old one breaks, you just buy a new one, swap it in. Of course, that becomes an issue later down the line like we talked about with the whole uh, have to connect to online to, to register and that sort of thing. One other thing I wanna try out here, so let me go ahead and take off this little piece here. And as you guys can tell with this fan, it's uh, very easy to swap out the fan, which is nice. You know, if you have a bad fan or you wanna, I don't know, swap out fans for whatever reason, all you gotta do is unplug this bit right here, take the four screws off, you can pull it out. Now, what I wanna try with the PS5 Slim is to actually run it without the fan and see how long it plays until it overheats. Now, I, I never even thought about this until last week when I made a video about a PS5 I bought from eBay that came with a broken, I'll just say a broken component. I'll throw that video on the screen if you guys wanna go watch it. But that gave me this, this idea to do it for the, actually gave Danny the idea to do this for the PS5 Slims where we check the fan out and see how long it takes to overheat and compare it to the fat PS5 and we can get a vague overlook at the cooling without a PS, without a fan there. So let's go ahead and just, uh, let's try it out. So disk drive is back in place, fan is unplugged here. We'll flip it around. And by the way, guys, if you're interested in PC content, go ahead and check out my other channel that I just started a few weeks ago. We've already posted a handful of videos and we're posting every Saturday and Sunday. So go ahead and check that out on the screen. It's called Smoke and Silicon. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug this thing back in and actually let me put my horizontal stand back in. We'll plug this thing back in and see what happens. 
All right, so let's go ahead and turn on this PS5 and just see what it does. So got power and of course it's pretty much dead silent because there's no fan running. And what we'll start with here is just running the PS5 on the home screen. We have, luckily we have two PS5 Slims, so we'll, we'll run this normal PS5 Slim with the fan plugged in and then the one where I unplugged the fan just on the home screen for a little bit and just see what kind of temps to get to. I actually have a little thermal camera so you can see the temps out the back and just that'll give us an idea of kind of <laughs> how much hotter this thing is running. So I've only had these things on for like five minutes each and you can see right off the bat, this is the one with the fan still plugged in. It looks nice and cool, right? Like we're, our heat sink is right there and we're about 84 degrees. Uh, coming over to here, like boom, this is the one with the fan not plugged in and right atop our heat sink, we're at like 112. And mind you, this is on the home screen. It's just sitting here doing nothing. So let's go ahead and boot up a game. We got Spider-Man in here. Let's go ahead and just see what happens. I'm assuming it'll give me that overheating screen pretty dang quickly once it learns that it's not extracting any heat out of the system. Um, well, let's just keep it, <laughs> keeping all these temperatures and see what happens. Okay, there it is. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. Like, let me look, the, look at these temperatures right here real quick. We hit like 125 here in the center, so we went up like 10 degrees after the home screen. Um, but I'm pretty impressed because the, the fat PS5, it was like, as soon as you hit the home menu of a game, it was off. This one I was playing for, you know, a good 15 seconds in Spider-Man swinging around. I mean, it's kind of what you expect from a Slim. It, of course, runs cooler. It's more efficient, that sort of thing. But let's go ahead and turn this thing, I guess, back off and then back on and see what it does. By the way, guys, if you like seeing weird, interesting tests like this, make sure to check out the video tomorrow I have on the PS5 Slim. It'll be kind of a throwback to my OG days. If you're an OG on this channel, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but check that out tomorrow. But to me, the most interesting part about doing something like this is plugging the fan back in and just seeing how quickly this cool thing cools down. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. Three, two, one. Okay, so surprisingly, the fan is not even spinning that fast. <laughs> I guess it like doesn't even recognize it as being that terribly hot. But let's go ahead and see what kind of temps we're at now. So I booted up Spider-Man and played for a minute or two and we're already down like 15 degrees from what we were on the home menu. We were at 130 on the home menu and now we're in a game at 110 to 115. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't unplug your fan. Don't try this at home. But let's go ahead and turn this console off and actually finish the teardown now. All right, so back at it. I got the disk drive off. I got the fan pulled out now, and definitely a smaller fan than the PS5 Fat. Not that much smaller, but a little bit smaller, which makes sense. So I'm taking screws out now to get down, obviously, to the motherboard. And I noticed we have a warranty sticker here, but it's, like, crooked, which is strange coming from factory. I, I've never seen a warranty sticker that crooked from factory, but I guess not a big deal, but I don't know. Strange. But, man, I'll give it to Sony. It's, they make it super easy to take the PS5 apart. There's like 10 screws and those plates, and then we're already down to the motherboard here. We've, of course, got our part of the heat sink, which is still very hot from our test there. We've got a heat pipe going down here. I think we have a heat sink. Yeah, we got, definitely got some more heat sink on the other side of this thing. Um, but this thing is very small now. All right, I got this back piece off, and this thing is kind of straddling the, the front plate because there's still a, a wire attached. So yeah, flipping it to the back, you can see you have our HDMI, you got your other ports, you got your power port. And flipping over to this side, you have your big uh, blocky power supply in here. And guys, imagine if you took the power supply out and made it, made it external. Like, they can make this PS5 super skinny. Just an idea. I, I don't want it to be external, but I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, also, two more heat sinks over here. Still very hot from our testing. We have a, uh, you know, our battery, a coin battery over there. And yeah, nothing much to write home about. Still relatively the same size, just slimmed down. I will show some screenshots from uh, one, a couple of the teardowns that I just watched when I was tear tearing this thing apart. Um, you can see that the, the boards are like shaped slightly differently from the fat, PS3, or fat, P fat PS5 to the fat slim. But other than that, they use the same chip. Same liquid metal, all that good stuff. So nothing changed drastically, just a, a bit more efficient, a bit smaller. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think about the PS5 Slim, and I'll see you next time.